Ratatouille is a 2007 Disney Pixar film that subtly presents themes of Marxism. In Ratatouille, the main themes of class division, class consciousness, social conflict, and proletariat revolution, and how they all affect society, are shown through the simplistic and entertaining nature of the animated children's movie. Classes, according to Marx, consist of people who have similar positions and modes of production. The kitchen environment in Ratatouille is a great allegory of class division through modes of production. Which one is a chef? Oh! Uh, oh, that guy. Very good. Who is next in command? The sous chef there. Right. Now, who is that? Oh, him? He's nobody. Not nobody. Each person in the kitchen represents a different social class, from the head chef to the cleaning boy. Within 19th century capitalism, Marx's theory of class division consists of more but focuses on two main classes, the bourgeoisie, the owners of the means of production, and the proletariat, the workers. In Ratatouille, the humans represent the bourgeoisie, and the proletariat are the rats. Class consciousness is where either classes are in themselves, not aware of belonging to a class, or classes are for themselves, where they possess this awareness. Due to their shared condition of living, the rats are seen as a class for themselves. They are aware of their position in society. Now this is what happens when a rat gets a little too comfortable around humans. The world we live in belongs to the enemy. We must live carefully. Conflictual relations between societal classes is what causes societies to change. Remy understands this, amounting change as part of nature. This is the way things are. You can't change nature. Change is nature, Dad. The part that we can influence. And it starts when we decide. Where are you going? With luck. Forward. The social conflict in Ratatouille is brought on by social mobility. Remy works with the humans and helps Sanguini to move through the class stratified environment of the kitchen from cleaning boy to chef. However, Linguini exploits Remy's labour and claims all successes of the restaurant due to his own actions. Marx claims that it is the exploitation of labour that motivates revolution. All right, dinner's on me. We'll go after closing time. In fact, tell dad to bring the whole clan. As a retaliation, Remy lets his friends into the kitchen at night to steal food. This presents as an allegory for a proletariat revolution, a social revolution in which the working class attempts to overthrow the bourgeoisie. Eventually, Remy returns to help Linguini and is revealed to the kitchen staff as the one who is responsible for the restaurant's success. Thanks for coming back, little chef. I have no talent at all. But this rat, he's the one behind these recipes. He's the cook. The real cook! And as a result, the staff all quit. It is left up to the rats to save the day. We're not cooks, but we are family. You tell us what to do and we'll get it done. The rats' takeover of the kitchen symbolizes the exchange of a capitalist hierarchical and hyper-efficient division of labour with a socialist division of labour, familial and cooperative. However, in the end, the health inspector shuts down the restaurant. Remy and Linguini open up a new restaurant with the help of others that share the same change views. Ratatouille provides commentary on capitalism and social classes it outlines key Marxist themes in simple terms, allowing for a broader understanding on the concept of his work. <laughs>